Welcome back here to CT Style. We are live here in the Bender Kitchen, and of course, we're celebrating wedding week, but we're putting a little Italian twist on it. Welcome, Riccardo Mavulli, executive chef and owner of Gusto's Trattoria in Milford. Welcome back to the show. Nice to see you. Uh, help me here. Ciao, come stai? Ciao, come stai? Come stai? Come stai? Bene, benissimo. E tu? E tu? Molto bene. <laughs> Molto bene. Yeah, wow. I need to really... Uh, uh -huh. Work on that there. But by the end of the segment, I'll be uh, totally That's fluent right. in Italian, you know, thankfully. Um, you will be. Don't, don't Thank worry you. about I, it. I, I appreciate I it. Know hope, you, I know you can do it. I, well, thanks for believing in me. At least somebody <laughs> does. But I, I'm excited to be cooking. We're going to be learning even more. We're making filet mignon, but this is like a, a northern Italian dish. Yeah, this dish. is a northern Italian dish, and we're going to use the um, uh, portobello mushrooms, okay? And... Uh, and we, yeah, I got you. All right. See, you, See? You, you teach me Italian and I'll help you and cook. Yeah, this, this stuff, it's, um, we're going to use a portobello mushrooms. Uh, filet mignon is called the filet mignon Savoia. Okay. Okay. And, and, and uh, Savoia? Savoia is to be the kingdom of Savoia. That's where Italy came from. In northern Italy, right? Northern Italy and, uh, okay. and Sardinia. All right. So uh, we. Uh, saute the filet mignon. Yep. We're also going to saute the mushrooms. The whole mushroom. You don't yeah. cut it up or anything. No, this the, the portobello. The we're going to use it as a base. We're going to saute the mushrooms, and uh, then we're going to cut some shallots over here. Okay. Okay. So when we cut the shallots like this, you s if you squish it with your knife and then cut it, you get the flavors out. Really? Yeah, you, you do. So we take nice. this one. Nice cooking tips here from That's uh, right. Ricardo. And we can put it right Top over here with here. the okay. we did the we did the portobello mushroom, so so, uh, so one of the things that we're, of course, talking about here today, you got engagement parties, you have bridal showers, rehearsal dinners. Actually, our very own Megan Yost, reporter, she's having her bridal shower that's at correct. Gustos, which yes, is exciting. She does. Yes, she does. So we do all kind of, we do even also small weddings. Oh, and really? uh, we have our base menu for cocktail, for uh, uh, buffet, buffet yeah. sit downs, but anybody want to fix it, anybody can want to do different, pick yeah. one thing from the other, we are there to help the customer. So you can customize, which is we great. We can customize for everybody. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's keep cooking over here. So we so, have the shallots in there. We got right, the mushroom. We got the, we got the mushroom. We're going to put a little bit of butter over here. We put a, a little salt and pepper on the and the mushrooms, mm -hmm. okay. Just to bring out some of that flavor. That's right. More we pepper. Go, we're gonna put oh, some yeah, pepper, and some sea salt, and the filet mignon. And just remember, when you do something, you gotta put a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt is oh, the main thing. Always, right? Always. Everything. You gotta, you have to flavor. If it is, if you f taste the salt, it means you put too much salt. Okay. You have to just be able to flavor. Just the right Just the, the right well, amount. That's why you're on the show, to, to tell people how much salt they should be putting on their that's food. Right. That's, that's right. That's right. So uh, once that so nice brown we're color. going to do this, so we're going to take great. some port wine okay. and put it over here with the portobello mushroom. Okay. We can put a Smells little good. bit more and we'll let it deglaze it a little bit. Check that out. Okay, so you and uh, so, we so, turn. So hypothetically speaking, we, we cook the steak here. We got this going on over here. What what would be the next step? Do we uh, the next step? We're gonna the, so this is gonna reduce it a little bit more. We're gonna put a, some uh, little beef stock. I thought Be that was your coffee, to be honest, in, in that mug. I, I, I got a little nervous. So. Why are we putting coffee in? Filet we mignon? we're gonna put the beef stock. The beef stock it takes me about three days to make it. I start about mm. ooh, twice three times a week that I do beef stock because uh, very few people do the the really Homemade. all the way. Yeah. This is the the true Italian the way. The true Italian way. So once this is this glaze, mm -hmm. we're gonna take the filet mignon. We're going to put it right on top of the the mushroom. the mushroom. Okay. We'll take uh, three asparagus mm -hmm. that we steamed before. Drop it right on top there. Put it right, right on top. Some we're cheese. Gonna, we're gonna put some mozzarella oh gosh, cheese on the top. How about the peppers? Can we're gonna we put some peppers here? Some roasted pepper over here. Wow. Okay. We take the. That's unreal. So now you're going to put it here? We're going to put it right over here in the oven. Okay. And, and as you are cooking that up, we actually have a winner from our contest. Of course, we want you guys to head on over to GustoTrattoria.com, uh, but we have our, our winner for Win It Wednesday. Here it is. 
Lisa Esposito from Wallingford. She has won a $250 gift card from Gusto's Trattoria, again in Milford. Congratulations. Very generous of you. Thank you very much. We're going to have to try it's, this at the end of the show. It's my pleasure, and here is the finished dishes. All right. These hey. ovens over here are, are great. You just put it in, and they come out thank right you. on the plates. Thank you so much. You know, it's the magic of television. <laughs> Ricardo, thank you so much. Thank, Teresa, thanks for, for being here. Ho hopefully, there's some here for you at the end of the show, Teresa. All I, right. I, I Take me a bite or two, huh? Mm. All we'll right. Try. Thank you, guys.